Hi there, welcome to the Hotel Licensing Board inspection process video. We hope that this video will provide you with all the information that you need to know about getting your tourism accommodation licensed. First, you need to complete the application and pay the necessary fees. You can find the necessary fees at the link flashing before you. Remember, apply early. After you've submitted your application, you'll need to have your property inspected by three government departments, the Department of Tourism, the Department of Environmental Health, and Cayman Islands Fire Services. You'll need to receive passes from all three agencies in order to obtain your license. Now we do have a couple of rules about managing your property. Remember to always greet your guests at your tourism accommodation. Nothing is more Cayman kind than making sure that your guests are secure and safe in their tourism accommodation. And besides, it's against the law to not meet and greet your guests at any tourism accommodation in the Cayman Islands. Operating without a tourism accommodation license is against the law. The fine is $100 per day per guest, and trust me, that adds up real quick. Your taxes and occupancy are due on the 28th day of each month. Remember to submit them on time, because there's a fine for that too. So what does DOT look for in a tourism accommodation inspection? I'm really glad you asked. If you're a hotel, no less than 30% of your guest rooms will be inspected. DOT looks for cleanliness, upkeep, and general maintenance of the tourism accommodation. Our inspectors can drop in at any time, so please be ready. For a complete list of what DOT looks for, please visit our website flashing below. Few things to remember when I arrive at your property for inspection. You need to provide your annual service reports, your fire alarm service report, your fire pump service report if you have a fire pump on property. Remember, exit signs should be illuminated at all times and a log kept for 30 day interval checks throughout. Your elevators should be annually serviced and tagged by the planning department. In order to do so, you need to book an inspection with the planning department to have your elevator recertified. Please contact me, Tina Choi, at the Cayman Islands Fire Service on 5261784, or you can find the contact details for the other inspectors in the tail brochure provided to you. The Department of Environmental Health focuses on seven main areas when undertaking an inspection of tourism accommodation. Details of these can be found on the DEH guidelines for the operation of tourism accommodation, which you can find on the DOT website. The main areas covered include the safety of food, where we inspect the provision of equipment and the safety of any food that is prepared and served. Employee health and safety, where we cover such topics as the safe handling of chemicals, first aid provisions and personal hygiene facilities. A safe water supply is essential and testing may be required to ensure that the risks of any waterborne infections such as Legionella are adequately controlled. A general check for cleanliness and sanitation is made, including the prevention of mould. Existing garbage disposal facilities are checked, as are pest control measures. A review of the general condition of the building is made, including the structure, lighting, ventilation and any laundry facilities provided. Swimming pools and spas need to be checked to ensure that they are safe for users, and this includes the provision of any pool safety equipment and the testing of water quality to ensure it meets international standards. Environmental health require you to undertake an annual check which requires laboratory analysis. Environmental health officers undertake inspections of condos and apartments between May 1st and August 31st and for hotels it's May the 1st to September the 15th. During an inspection an environmental health officer will leave uh, an inspection report if there are any non-compliances and it is the duty of the property manager or owner to ensure these are complied with. We at Environmental Health would like to thank you for your cooperation in this process and look forward to meeting you in the coming months.